the chat. And in a few minutes, we can start. So today's topic we are going to cover is how to start developing your social media from scratch. Actually, three, two, one, let's get started. Let's get acquainted from the very beginning. My name is Kramarian Kairina. I'm team lead for communication and strategy department in Sky World Community. I have more than 17 years of marketing experience and actually I still remember the times when we used to work without any social media and we managed to survive, can you imagine? And right now it's really exciting to see how many marketing tools are here to benefit us. I have the experience of successful launching different campaigns and promos in European and Asian market. Uh, also, I'm the speaker at the marketing IT conferences in different countries. But actually, the most important thing you need to know about myself is that I'm ready to share this knowledge with you. And let's start from today. But firstly, let's make some technical settings. So uh, I, could not, I could not see your chat right now online, but I will definitely check all your marks and questions after this. But I have the really wonderful lady, Kate, and she will support me in any technical questions. Right now, I would like to ask you, please post plus if I'm visible and audible well. Please do this. In this case, I will, I, I, I will understand it. I can move on. Okay. I believe that if there will be some questions or will be some problems, Kate, just show it to me. Okay. And also, I would like to ask you to post exclamation mark if you're familiar with social media or you are the active user of social media. Can you put the explanation mark in the chat? And please put the question mark if you are not so active or inconsistently active in social media. In this case, I can understand the audience for today's meeting. Right now, I need the support from Kate's side. Kate, um, how many marks and what kind of marks do we have right now? Can you answer? Irina. Oh, we have, yeah, we have lots of pluses and we have lots of marks who are familiar with social media, so we can go on with our content. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. So let's once again cover the topic. The topic of today's webinar, how to start developing your social media from scratch. And I will definitely try to make it practical, not theoretical, but theory also will be. We will have uh, some practical task exercises and even a home task. Yes, unfortunately, we could not cover all the uh, questions and we could not discuss within today's webinar because of time, but you could do it at home. And please do it in this case, you will get the whole knowledge, the whole picture, and you could start develop your social media from scratch. I should notice that everything you will learn today can be used as a template and you could start promote yourself and keep your blog on any social platform. It means that today's material will not dedicate it to any particular social media, for example, like Telegram, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can use all this data, all this knowledge to any social platform. Firstly, let's cover some global statistics. Can you imagine that right now more than 60% of the whole world uses social media? And it figures it's 4.8 billion people. And every year, around 137 million people add it online. 
Can you imagine this figure? It's really huge. And if we are talking about the average daily time which we spent uh, in our social media, it's around two and a half hours. And honestly, this figure is growing quarterly. And I believe that the rough youth art who spent more than two and a half hours in the internet and the social media. Actually, it's me, yes. I spent more than three and sometimes more than four hours in the net and the social media, but this is due to work. Yeah, due to work, just not for fun. If you are the same active user as me, for example, you uh, spent more than three, maybe four hours, you can write down in the chat. Here you can see the picture uh, about social media and uh, the population uh, and users, active users in the whole world. And we can see then Northern Europe and Western Europe, as well as Northern America and Eastern Asia. These people actually spent more than three hours net daily. And if we talk about the world's most used social media platform, so here they are. Actually, this is the top six. And Facebook uh, takes the leading position for a long, long time. Then comes YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, and so on. Sometimes they change their position, but Facebook is a leader. This statistics was taken from the overall global report, which was published in January 2023. And all this data will just uh, give us the understanding what is going on in social media and the whole world. And right now, let's get one by one, stage by stage, and deeply involved in the sphere of social media. And we will start from the message behind the block. The message behind the block. Firstly, what we should answer, this is the question, why do we need a block in our social media? What for we need it? And here, it is important to understand that you can benefit in your blog in two ways. The first one is financial benefit, and you know that you can monetize your blog, yes. And the second one is non-financial, and this means that social feedback, and this helps you to stay afloat before your blog is monetized and start treating your blog as a full-time job. It also can be. Let's discuss what are the block goals. And it's not always about the sales or attracting people. It can be about promotion a certain topic. For example, you can sell your service if you are a freelance designer. Or you can sell your product and consultation if you are, for example, life coach. You can sell your content and blog as an ad platform for bloggers. You can sell yourself as a specialist in order to search for the better job. And this is related to hard specialists. All these blog goals. These are main, but not everything I covered here. You can sell your performance. You can promote even your political agenda or search for dates and acquaintances. And here, the first practical exercise. Please read your notes, papers, uh, books, uh, whatever you would like, or you can just make a screenshot of this slide. This will be a homework. You should write down three goals for your blog. And you should answer the following questions in detail. Why do you need a blog? What for? What are your expectations from your blog? And why it is important for you right now? Please make the screenshot and answer a bit later on these questions. Here is the second stage, and this is the concept of your blog. Let's identify the main concept of your blog. 
And it's really important and cornerstone for your positioning and promotion strategy. Why do we need this? Because without a well-established concept, you will struggle to find your audience. And this is the important point in social media. You need to select two to three topics and start to establish the concept of your blog. Otherwise, it will be a mess. And here is the practical exercise too. Please do the same. You can make the screenshot of the slide. You should write down two to three topics you want to cover in your social media. And these topics should be aligned with your goals from the particular exercise number one. So you can write in the chart if I'm too quick in my uh, speech, if I need to cover something more detailly, you can write it down and I will maybe just stop, make a pause or we can discuss it. Otherwise I will be in this speech. Stage number three, positioning your blog. Let's cover this topic. Now let's talk about dressing life into your blog. What should you do to make people stick to your social media page? And actually, there is a one secret. People like to follow the lives of others. They need to see, to feel your thoughts, your experiences, and your emotions. But you need to learn how to present yourself as an online persona. And it is not so easy from the very beginning, but it's really can be a great experience to do after later. You no, no need to put on show. Do not need to fake anything. You just need to be yourself. And this is important. Feel the difference. The first sentence, I am taking the training from smart word community. The second sentence, I am taking the training from smart word community as I'm interested in developing my social media. I attempt to keep a blog in the past, but failed. Now I'm excited to get knowledge to try once again. Can you feel the difference? Yes. Actually, in the second uh, statement, it's more vivid, it's more emotional, and you more understand the person who is talking about this. And in order to learn to present yourself as an online persona, you need to learn to understand yourself better. But how do you get to know yourself? Your unique story as an online persona consists of the following. A lot of events, a lot of memories, feelings, emotions, relationships, ups and downs. And this is everything about you, you directly. And sometimes it seems really important and impossible, but unfortunately impossible to answer the question, who am I? It's actually hard to discover the complicated universe within you. Here is the practical exercise number three. The same, please make the green short. The more detailed your answers are, the better. Which of your personal traits you like the best? What are your actions that you are most proud of? Which compliments do you get most often? I think it's a really interesting question. What are the things you really love yourself for? And what three key personal traits make you who you are? When you answer these questions, actually you will know yourself better. And this is what defines your personality. How can you use this knowledge about yourself? Just really simple. Share this in your blog. 
Do not hesitate to be yourself. Share your preferences and dreams, your knowledge, your experience, and your desires. This is the only way to find your audience in social media. Questions to get know yourself better. You also can make a screen of this slide. What do I enjoy doing? Who inspires me? What am I good at? What exhausts me and what makes me sad and what, what makes me happy? This is all about yourself, about you personally. Let's cover the example for discussion. For example, you would like to show your commitment to your goal. And you're really passionate about what you're doing and eager to succeed. How can you show this, for example, in social media? You can show yourself working and sacrificing something for sake of your work. And it's usually watching a film, hanging out with your friends and so on. You can show off your achievement and it also will be really positive and really understandable. You can share this event in your life. You can show how it used to be, where you lived, how you lived, what you did, and so on and so forth. And then just do the same contact to your current life. A blogger needs to create their image in the present, past, and future. And that's really important. You always should keep in mind, you should show present, past, and future. Important note, everything you share, even subconsciously, brings and across a lot of messages. People pick up a lot without words. You should remember that what you say, how you say, and even what you do and what you do not do when you're silent. All these things are really important. And then social media is really actual, it's vivid. What do you need to achieve this? It's really simple actually from one point of view and sometimes it's really difficult from another. You should shift the focus from appearing to be someone to actually be in someone. You have to learn to see yourself in the reflection of the world. Share your stories about yourself. Share your emotions, feelings, and all you would like to share with the whole world. And it's critical to be authentic in your blog. And remember that authenticity of your blog starts from your own authenticity. Important note, your visibility in real life is related to your blog. And your blog is not a tool that helps you to get glimpses into yourself. And it's not the place where you should be really, really perfect person, should be very kind, very good, I don't know. So very, very just perfect. No, it's just the reflection of yourself. That's all. Stage number four, content types. We have discussed already a very important tool for developing your blog, which is your personality. And right now, let's discuss the content types. The first type is engaging content that helps you to get more views and extend your reach. Actually, it stirs emotions and responds to make people watch it to the end. The second type is expert content. It is everything that demonstrates your expertise level. Next is loyalty content. It makes you closer to your audience and enhances the emotional contact. 
the purpose to get uh, people to know you better, love you more and become your loyal subscribers. Let's discuss every contact type in details. What engages people? Actually, any interesting, new, remarkable content, emotional content, interactive context, and actually humor. Engaging elements must be present in every single post. It's a must. It's a rule. And this is what will attract new subscribers and help retain the existing ones. Expert content. This is any contact that makes the audience feel that, yeah, this is really person is expert in this field. How to show this? It's, it's, this is case studies, this is feedback, this is standard of life, income, work process, publications, and so on. Loyalty content. The best subscribers are the loyal subscribers, and this is the rule. And how do you build the loyalty? The key point is the easier it is for your audience to understand your personality, the better. You should be understandable. The more you show your personality as an online persona, the more people will be drawn to you and feel that this person is just like me. Actually, people, people like uh, those who resemble us. What helps to build loyalty? All clearly expressed emotions. Your journey, your past, your future, aspirations, lifestyle, values, mindset, and mission. This is really important and interesting for your audience. The places where you live, the places where you travel, your social circle, and other things. The combination of all three content types has the strongest influence on the audience. Firstly, we engage the audience. We make the audience watch us. Secondly, we make our content interesting. And the thirdly, we build loyalty. And only after this, we talk about our expertise. I also recommend to make the screenshot of this slide. It's really important. And it's better to follow this direction, engaging, then make the interesting content, and then we build the loyalty. And after this, our expertise. Let's cover main mistakes of the bloggers. The first variant, when we post only engaging content without any expertise or personal visibility. And we focus only on audience reactions. In this In case, this case mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, is it okay? Am I audible? Yeah, it's absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you. So in this case, if we post only engaging content, you will not be able to sell any scene, unfortunately, because the audience is not deeply engaged. It's not involved. People visit your page only to have fun or just mindlessly serve the web. And actually, it's not good because your actually personal information, your online persona will not be memorized. Another mistake, when we post only expert content, and actually it's hard to hold the audience attention. I think everyone can remember such kind of publications and posting, it's only the expert content. It's sometimes really difficult and hard and people just get confused or bored and eventually lose the interest. And one more mistake of the blogger, is to post purely loyalty content. 
In this case, subscribers will not understand why they need to subscribe and what is going on here on this block. And as a result, no new audience will be attracted. Actually, the combination of all three content types had the strongest influence on the audience. This is really important. Next stage, stage number five, content strategy. Content strategy. You also can make the screenshot of this slide. Write down the global goal of your blog and your positioning. Identify the main topics of your blog. Then come up with tasks, uh, for example, to build loyalty onto a proof expertise. Write down the specific topics for your posts. But how can you find topic for your post? And actually the question, the main rule is you should like your content. It's really important. It's really crucial. It's really uh, the first rule. Then, for example, if you have already the audience, you can ask them what they want to read about. And in this case, you will get the idea what to post. Make a list of your professional and personal interests and hobbies. Write down the relevant questions, challenges, and current situation for each item on this list. You can also read the blogs you are related to, analyze, and posts made by bloggers in your field. It's also helpful to get the main ideas, but do not copy. It's not the right way. It is recommended to brainstorm once every two or three weeks and focus on generated ideas for an hour or two. And you can also always come back to the main concept of your blog. And the task will list it in the beginning of our webinar. Is your content currently aligned with the overall goals of your blog? You should always follow this. And now I'm ready to share some marketing tips. The first tip, post about things you are interested in right now. Actually, there is a simple rule. You need to like your context so much that you are ready to rewatch your stories and videos and reread your post all day long. If you don't want to do this, and if you could not do this, another way, no posting at all. It's really crucial. Your content also needs to be relevant for you right now. Uh, actually, there is a kind of uh, recommendation. Right now, everybody just close your eyes. Just for a few seconds, close your eyes. Everybody, I can see that you are still watching. If you close your eyes and think about what you need to post, for example, and what you would like to post. So the right variant, what you should post will be the second. If you would like to post something, it means that you are interested in this sphere. It means that it will be great to post in your blog. You can open your eyes. Tip number two. Establish the scope of work for your blog. Yes, you should integrate your blog into your work task. And so it's really important. If someone can count how many times during this webinar, I use the word important. And uh, after the webinar, just put it down. Actually, there will be some benefit from my side because I think that I use this word very, really often very, very often, <laughs> because it's really important. Important is really important. Okay, so uh, plan your contact ahead. It's really important, right? It's better to have a poor content plan 
than to have no content plan at all. You should post as much content as you see fit. No need to make like 10 stories per day and 15 posts per week and you will be just exhausting. No, you should uh, make your own schedule and follow it. And really important to take time off your blog. If you will keep uh, the stuff schedule and posting and doing videos and stories and so on every day. You can do this, I don't know, maybe a few months and maximum half a year, but then you will just burn out. In order not to do this, you should take time off. And some more tips that proved very helpful to me in the past. Believe in yourself. Yes, sometimes it's really difficult to do. Sometimes it's easy to do, but you need to do this because without this belief, you could not do anything in life in the same situation with social media. Enjoy what you do and have a clear picture of your future. If right now you and the point A, you should understand what will be the point B. Only in this way, you can make this direction. Know exactly what makes you different from others. This is about our authenticity we discussed earlier. And the last one, but not the least, just do it. And it's not about Nike, it's about you, about your activity. How to start developing your social media from scratch? Let's sum up. Identify the goal of your blog. Come up with several concepts and topics and act weekly. Do not write only about one type of content. Combine various types and this will be beneficial for you. Watch your competitors. Create high quality visual feed and six to nine posts. Track what your audience likes. Learn to stay in touch with your audience and only keeping this contact with your audience will get your proper monetization. So what do you think about this information? Right now, I would ask to show your reaction. You can post one if you found this information interesting and will use social media, will start to use social media. And you can post two if you would like to get more information about social media. Where is your one, two, two, one, two, one, one, two? You can post this feedback right now in the chat. Okay, I can see one and two. Also, you can write down the words using the words. How do you find this information? Okay, I can see and one and two and two and one. <laughs> Great. So if you would like to have more information, it's, I would say, important. Plus one word important in our webinar. Because in 21st century, the information is one of the key assets. And with the advent of the internet, education in the world has become really available. You can find any information in net. And this is great point from the one point of view and really kind of drawback because it's not so clear how to find what is really needed. And Skyward community, with great pleasure, would like to announce our product as adaptation and training platform, Smart Word Community. This is IT platform with a great majority of information. You know, if there is a kind of space with your educational dreams and all your educational dreams come true, 
this is exactly the our platform smart word community skills that are in demand around the world expertise and adaptation to each country specific of each region is indicated in our training process and surely trackers and mentors in group training you can join our platform free of charge and this is great and i will say you secretly it will not be for a long time so please hurry up on the 25th of february there will be third day of our level up conference and on this exactly day we will open the platform in four languages it will be really a great event and most important conference of the season it will be five international speakers like Michael Bank, Alexei Sukhadoyev, Christian van den Weyer, and others, international speakers, and we will perform live for you. With great honor and a bit excitement, I would like to invite everyone to attend our conference on the 25th of February, and you will be able to register for the our adaptation and training platform smart word community how to get to this conference and how to get this link you can get it through the channel where you receive the link for this event exactly and also you can get and check our social media actually are you our followers are you our instagram followers maybe telegram or youtube I can check at everything. And you can invite your colleagues and partners and friends to this conference on the 25th of February. With great pleasure, we will be waiting for you and we'll share the new knowledge, the latest news and all the information you would like to know. So actually, I shared the main information I would like to this morning or day or evening it depends on your time zone if you would like to ask some questions or if you would like to share some feedback any of your comments are welcome and once again i would like to thank you to be here on this webinar and to listen to this information and please one more request from my side to you do your homework do your homework in this case all the information you get today in the webinar will be puzzled and you can start or you can just upgrade your social media that will be great information i'm sure so i can see someone would like to ask a question i believe raise a hand just a second uh Prince Adams, you can you can speak, but I'm not sure how to make it. Kate, can you support me in this case? Uh, sure, I'll ask. I already asked Prince to. Yeah, can you hear me? You can speak now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Once again, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I would like to say thank you for this expose. This is. Uh, an amazing eye-opening uh, information and uh, I think some of us uh, we seem to know this but then we really just don't understand what it means but based on these uh, details you've been able to come up with it has made a lot of sense to me personally however my question is uh, a very simple one uh, in a layman's language can you please uh, try to redefine uh, what content is all about? Okay, so uh, if I'm if I understand you rightly, uh, so you mean what is content? Yes, uh, the word content in this uh, subject. What is it? Content, content. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You mean what is content in social media? Yeah, exactly. In a layman's language. Sorry, in a, I couldn't hear. In, in, in a layman's language. 
not in a very technical way, but in a very simple okay. way that, yeah. Okay, so, con mm -hmm. so content, this is the information actually you are posting. For example, if you would like to say, for example, that you attend this webinar and that was really helpful for you and this will be, that was really interesting and you get some insight from this and you create this text. So exactly this text and you post it, this text will be content. This is the information you would like to share with the whole world, with someone. For example, if you share this information with your friend, Verbally, it will be like verbal content. It could be like this. Is it understandable right now? Maybe more clear or very, I should- Very well, it? very well. Okay, so thank, thank you, you for your feedback. Right. Okay, uh, we have one more uh, raise hand. Uh, so should I should I announce it or should I uh, switch on the mic? Kate, how should I do this right now? <laughs> um, I already asked them to turn their microphones on, so we're waiting for the question. Or if okay. they, yeah, oh, everybody, if you don't, um, if you can't uh, ask your question right with your voice, you can write it in chat. Yeah, hello. Great, good day. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is Emmanuel. And uh, thank you for the insight. So definitely from when they do until now evening. What I want to ask is that for instance. Uh, yes, it's understand two person right now is talking in the same way. Yes, please. I don't know. Please, can I continue? Emmanuel, can I continue? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, so what I want to ask is that once you have make your intentions clear, maybe what your interests are, can you at one time or once a while sway to other topics of interest if you will not always stick to one particular interest, but maybe you can once a while join in other uh, interests that are public or generally uh, exposed out there, or maybe you will have to always stick to whatever your interests are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your question. Uh, right now, I would like to repeat it if I clearly understand your question. So um, you mean, uh, should you uh, make the schedule of your topics you need to cover on your blog and follow it directly? It means that, for example, if you change your mind or if your interest changed or if, for example, today you don't want to share what you already have in your schedule, in your plan, can you switch to the another topic? Is, yeah. it, is it, let's say, appropriate for the blog, yeah? Like this question. <laughs> right? Okay. So actually, uh, the main information, the main rule, uh, as I mentioned today in the presentation, you should love what you do. You should enjoy it. It's really important. And the content and uh, the other information you would like to share. And everything should be about you. Exactly. And if today you would like to talk about, I don't know, football, for example, then about fishing, and the next time about investing, it's okay, it's great. It just show your variety, yeah? It show that you are the person of many, many interests, and this is great. Okay, uh, thank social you. Social media, yeah, social media is exactly demonstrates their uh, entertainment. And this is the first and the really uh, red line for the social media. You should enjoy it. And if you enjoy, all the people also will enjoy your content. Thank you. Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, next, please. Hello, my name Hello. is Rebecca. Yes. 
Yes, my question is on the chat's page. Uh, I've been posting content for a while on my Facebook page, but I really don't get engagement. Uh, how can I make my content engaging for my viewers to be able to always want to come back to my page? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for the question. Yes, actually, uh, we all sometimes face the situation that we're posting the content, but it's not engaged. Uh, it means that no uh, uh, no new users, yeah, no active feedback. So yeah. just as usual situation, yeah. In this case, firstly, you should uh, check your content. Is it relevant to your blog main idea? Is it relevant to your audience? And the second stage, I think the second step, you can ask your audience. You can make more entertainment with your audience. You can ask, is it okay for you or not? Or direct question, what do you would like to see in my blog? Just make a kind of uh, a kind of review, yeah, a kind of checkpoint. So, and you can also show some variant. Maybe you would like me to talk about this or this or that. In this case, you will get the feedback or you can try. Yeah, marketing and social media, it's a kind of trial, let's say sphere. For example, you can think over and to find something you did not share before. And you can start post this and check, for example, within one week or within two weeks, you can check and analyze. If it works, okay, you can continue. If it uh, does not work, in this case, you can switch and try another sphere. And also the advice is uh, expect uh, yourself. I mean, uh, try to understand what is really important for you. Do you remember all these questions? What makes me feel bad? What makes me feel sad and so on? Try to get yourself, try to analyze your inner word and show this. If you enjoy your content, your audience also will enjoy. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, the next one you can ask. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, please. My name is Enes. Um, nice to meet you. Well done. The seminar on is very awesome. Um, my question goes this way, please. Um, how can one create um, a Facebook monitoring page? Apart from the your normal Facebook page, a Facebook, a Facebook monitoring page, how can one create it? I thought that is what we're going to learn today on how to create a selling page. Okay, if I uh, understand you correctly, your question is how to create the Facebook page. You mean like yes. technically? Like, um, yes whether to go, what to do, and so on and so forth. So yeah, actually- Yeah, uh, you, you, you can have an audience all over the world. Okay, so actually it's a kind of technical, let's say, question, and um, it's not the exact topic of today's webinar, but uh, if you need this information, I can send you directly after this webinar, uh, within one or two days maximum, uh, a kind of instruction how to start, uh, how to create, and how to make the first content for the Facebook page. Is it okay for you? Yeah, it's okay for me. But how do you get it to me? Uh, you can write down your uh, mail or your chat, everything you would like how to connect with you in this chat. And I will send okay. the information to you. Okay, I will write it. Okay, uh, can I also make a suggestion? Yes, please. Okay, uh, I guess most of the question we're asking individually, it's also related to one or two people that may not be able to ask that question. So in the same way with what he is asking and what you are trying to send across is important if you can share to all the participants. Uh, we have a particular telegram page. I think uh, Catherine is in a position to do that so you can send it to her and she can now forward it to all of us. It will help as well. Okay, yes, great. Right. <clears throat> After, thank yes, thank you very much for this 
note after the webinar i will check all the questions you put on this side or oh, sorry in the chat and if you would like to have the answer for example you did not get it within uh, this uh, q a session and you would like to get some detailed answer you can write down your uh mail or any chat or any social media uh, you would like me to connect and i will send you the details we can do like this way oh my kitten also would like to help the education and decided to join us <laughs> hello hello uh, hello yeah good evening to you good evening yeah i my name is basi and then uh, I want to thank you so much for giving me this uh, much value, <laughs> of course, for free. <laughs> so much, uh, um, so much thank you for giving us this um, value content for free. Uh, so I want to ask two questions. First question is, uh, you, you talked about um, a blogger having to be, um, having to show his persona, his or her persona, describing us as self and, and activities or things or the person's like. So I want to ask, is it, is it how a, a blogger can be anonymous? Uh, okay, uh, well, so thank you for your question and thank you for your feedback. It's actually the pleasure to hear such kind of word that uh, this content, this information I shared today was really uh, positive and helpful and you get some insights. Uh, if your question is, can the blogger be, can the blogger uh, does not show his face? Uh, yes. How to say? Actually, it's a kind of uh, two incomplete uh, levels, two incomplete stages. I mean, social media is the platform, is the source, is the space in order to engage, in order to influence other people, in order to communicate with each other. In this case, my question, how can you communicate with a no-face person? Can you rely on him or her? And actually, how can you understand, is it her? Or is it she or is it he? In this case, to use social media and to get all the benefits from this platform and to do not show your face, it's impossible. Actually, this is my opinion. Because we would like to see the person. We would like to see his, her interest. We would like to understand that, oh, for example, this is exactly like me, or this uh, person resembles me, my mom, or I don't know, my friend, my husband, and so on. And only in this like-minded person, we can communicate. We can share some thoughts. We can even put the like. <laughs> Otherwise, I will not do this. For example, if I see uh, the page, yeah, like closed page with no face and just one photo, Actually, for me, it's not so interesting and even how to say a kind of tricky because I believe that it's a kind of um, not a real person. It's a kind of bot. In this case, I would not combine uh, this no face person and social media together. And actually, I have a question. Um, if you would like to have the social media and if you don't want to show your face, for example, what for you need social media? What's your purpose to have the social media? Okay. Can I say something? Sorry. Hello? Uh, yes. yes, yes, you can answer. Okay, yes. Um... My question was because for some people, uh, it is always hard to start, you know, and, and people, some people give up uh, even before they start because once you post a content, that there, there are some of these content that come with backlashes, negative reactions, and some people cannot keep up with that reactions well. And they said, oh, this my content is not is not well put is not well put out or this content um, is getting negative feedback 
And to, to some people, they can't take that. They can't take that pressure and, and they just fall back. So, but I have seen, I've also seen uh, some, some bloggers on, on Twitter, on um, Facebook, and that they, they, they just go, um, they are anon. They just decide to be anon and they are still having tractions. So that's why I ask. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, okay, I understand what you're talking about. So uh, actually, yes, there are kind of bloggers and uh, in, in different social uh, platforms with no face or with no name. Yes, but uh, the point is that there is a great variety of everything right now. In internet, you can find anything, any blog, any information, any educational uh, courses and so on and so forth. The question is right now, we people, we, the audience will choose what to follow, who to listen to and what to do. And uh, personally, every person, every uh, people would like to see whom they are communicating. And usually uh, if the person is unknown, they just scroll over and then go to another blogger, to another platform, to another courses. This is like standard edition, let's say. But you are right that there are some blogs uh, which uh, cannot uh, show your face. And also, I understand the situation when the person just fresh in social media and just start to make he, her, his or her account and a bit afraid about negative feedback, about everything. In this case, uh, they should work with uh, their personal, their inner word, yeah? Believe in yourself. It's this really important. Then, uh, for example, a kind of example, you can get the special courses which show how to make this content, how to make the blog, yeah? How to position yourself, what should be done in social media and so forth. All this information, for example, will be on our platform for adaptation and educational platform smart word community and you can enter this platform free right now and you can get all these courses it will be stage by stage step by step it will depend on some particular uh let's say clothes and you can get it already uh, on the 25th of the webinar 25th of february on the big event and you can get all this information exactly on the platform of education and all these things can be educated, let's say. No one just born with this knowledge, yeah? I uh, actually uh, was not born and said, okay, I am the special in social media. No, I just learned it and in sometimes I became a special. That's why every person can do this. It's like, just do it. It's like Nike. I really like this motto. I really like this brand and really simple. And really, let's say, we would understandable. Just do it, that's all. Practice, practice, and one more time practice. Mm. If I answer the question. Um, a contribution. Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Yeah, uh, good evening, Rena, and good evening, everybody. Yeah, uh, good evening. Honestly, first and foremost, I really want to take out the opportunity to appreciate you for this eye-opening, uh, you know, content that sharing on uh, social media. Uh, I think the question I'm about to ask is almost related to the question that uh, the speaker, the first uh, speaker, now just asked, you know, as regards to you know, coming out to share, you know, a part of your life because you talked about authenticity and mm -hmm. being real, being genuine, you know, and by so doing, you can be able to like touch the life of other people where going through your content, they can actually relate your personal experience to their own experience. Now we, we have a lot of persons because for me personally, I almost had the opinion that blogging is not actually for everybody because I felt uh, there are some persons, for example, that are, that are introverts, you mm -hmm. know, they don't like to share whatever mm -hmm. that is going on in their inner world. 
And just like the uh, first uh, person said, that uh, fear of getting those negative uh, comments and a backlash. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, somebody that was raped in the past, and now she's trying to help other women by coming out to share a personal experience of how she was raped. Definitely, she's going to get a lot of backlash, a lot of uh, negative comments, you know, which if she's not healthy enough as regards to a self ideal, how she sees herself, that can actually ruin her confidence. So yeah, here's my question. So for someone that is an introvert, what, what, can you, what kind of advice or suggestion can you give to such a person to help them to come out of their shell, you know, to share something about it, not just about their life, about something, uh, let me say their experiences and all that. So that is my question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Dana, thank you for your question. Uh, it's really, uh, let's say, truly lively question here. Yeah? Um, what I would uh, advise if I could see this, if I could say this, uh, if you are not right now, um, how to say, if you are not right now ready to share some of your personal experience, something really um, uncomfortable even for you, but for some reason you need to share or you need it in order to make yourself better, yeah, for some reason. In this case, maybe it's better to start from not so personal, for, for start from some, let's say, neutral. You can say something about uh, I don't know what uh, like daily routine or what you would like to do or just share some pictures yeah some pictures from nature I don't know you can make um, the talk with your audience step by step and you can start from something neutral without showing your face without showing your sacrifice history, without showing your, uh, in a word, your, uh, let's say, emotions uh, and so on, just neutral. And then uh, when, I don't know, some period already comes, maybe one month or two months, it depends on how many posts do you do weekly base, then you can ask your audience, for example, so what you would like to share uh, what you would like me to share with you or for example would you like would you mind if i share like this information you can ask direct question your audience and get the answer and um don't forget that uh every blog every follower just uh, follow the page which is interesting for him for example i will not follow just any page or every page or just ordinary page. No, I just follow the uh, brand or special person or someone who is interested in me, who resembles me. In this case, this person who is not so, let's say, um, personally from the very beginning, already can get the audience within one month or half a year. Yeah, they're already loyal audience. And after this, and also it will depend on the person, is he or she ready to share, let's say the inner world, to show the inner world to the whole world. Yeah, in this case, uh, this publication, this contact can appear in the blog. Just step by step, uh, just uh, post by post like this. All right, perfect. Uh, thank you, Irina. Yes, yes. Thank you for the question. Hello. If, mm -hmm. if you have some question, you can ask. Hello. Um, I'm too close. Hello. Hello. Uh, right now, I can hear two persons at the same time. There's something with Hello, the Rita. connection. Rita, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you. And you, how are you? I'm good, Irina. Great. I just want to appreciate you for that that you have been doing. And great talk that I've heard. 
it's mm -hmm. really about uh, very awesome. Uh, please, Serena, before that uh, next um, seminar, please, can you please oblige by sending those videos to me and how to plug in, please, I would really need it. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Okay, uh, sorry, maybe uh, I did not understand you correctly, but uh, you asked to get the screen, uh, sorry, uh, the video record of this webinar. Am I right? Yeah, and the other ones that, that will be shown on our next uh, meeting. Okay, okay. So actually, uh, this uh, video will be uploaded on the our. Uh, official YouTube channel, and uh, maybe we'll show the link on the social media. Uh, my question is, are you our uh, social media followers? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, great. In this case, uh, you can find the link uh, for this webinar uh, on our social media, and you can get this, uh, actually, video record. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Yes, nice welcome. One. You too. Answer the question. Yes, you can ask. A good day. Uh, my name is Chukos. I don't think you can hear me. I'm really sorry. Can you speak a bit louder because it's really hard to hear you? Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, a bit better, but not so. Okay, I try. I try to catch your idea. So can you can you talk? Can you ask, please? Okay, okay. Good evening. My name is Teofilos. Uh, I'm from Nigeria. I Great. actually enjoy this webinar. It's touching and inspiring. Uh, actually, I've been a blogger for some time, but I gave up because of uh, not getting enough uh, target audience. Mm -hmm. But this one actually inspired me. I think I'm going to go back to blogging. But one thing I want to ask, you talked about the loyalty. Mm -hmm. Loyalty, you're talking about. I think I would uh, I'm really sorry, but the, the last word I heard was loyalty. After this, uh, that was some some terrible <laughs> sound. Can you repeat, please? The, the loyalty, you talked about loyalty. When you were talking yes. about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our, um, what I'm asking is if you can really expand on that. Because the loyalty to me, I'm thinking of something like a, um, maybe giving some kind of a promotional materials to your audiences or you're asking for them to like subscribe for premium services. I don't know. I want you to like expand it more on that loyalty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, okay. Okay. So loyalty actually really important here. Yeah? One more time. I use this wonderful word important uh, because uh, loyal subscribers are really the best one. And loyal content, content uh, is uh, everything which is really clearly uh, shown and emotionally expressed, let's say. Because uh, what is loyal contact? This is the contact which uh, dedicated about lifestyle, values, mindset, everything that person would like to share. And if the person shows uh, them uh, truly uh, himself, in this case, this person can be understandable, can be vivid, and can be really, um, let's say, um, interesting to follow. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, social media is a platform, is a space where people would like to entertain. Yeah, surely we would like we use some social media exactly for getting uh, there. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. 
uh, so we use some social media exactly to get the information, yeah, uh, exactly to educate uh, and some, but, but in general, we would like to, let's say, entertain and get the something new. And in this case, if we provide the new, um, the really, um, how to say, really vivid, really expressed emotionally content, in this case, we will get the low audience. And also, if we honest with audience, if we share our challenges and our fears, if we show that we are not so perfect, and like I'm the person, I can have like these strong points and these like weak points. I have these fears and these benefits. In this case, you can rely on this person. You can understand and you can say, okay, this is this person is like me. And this shows the loyal content, the loyal connection between you and between your audience. Uh, did I answer your question? Yes, it did very well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, too. Okay, I'm gonna Sorry. sit in. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I want uh, Hello? I wanted to say let's have one more question and let's finish uh, slowly because we okay. already an hour have an hour conversation. So yes, uh, please have your question. Okay. I I want to I appreciate you one more time. I'm George. Oh, I, George? I'm George by name. Yes, you understand. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I'm not, I'm very new to all this. Uh, it's really mind, uh, mind opener. I'm a rector. I, how do I use this to affect my business? Can you please teach me? Uh, you mean how to use? Uh, social media to benefit your business. Yeah, yeah, as a rector. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, as I mentioned from the very beginning, I really remember the time when we do not use social media in our business at all. It was a long, long time ago, but actually there was a time. And that time was really difficult to struggle, to survive, to uh, how to, to survive um, between the competitors. And we had that time different types of marketing. That was another story, yeah? Uh, we yeah. have like, in, uh, not internet, the yeah, connection. We have the like outdoor, we have some paper materials, we have the uh, TV and radio advertising, we have some uh, offline conferences and so on. Right now, uh, in our 21st century, in our time, we really lucky, let's say, because social media is one of the tools which makes our connection with the, our audience really quickly. And if we would like to use it, it's great majority of variants. It really helps business to grow, to uh, get, uh, to, to start your to start, for example, the new direction, yeah, it's easily to do through uh, through social media, to uh, get the new audience, to sell the new goods, to I don't know, find the well mind uh, society, the same society, the, the well mind, the the same uh, minded people, let's say, and all this is possible to do right now in our time. Uh, the trend, let's say, for the nearest time is community. When people join, gather together in big community where everyone have the same idea, where everyone would like uh, to uh, share the same benefits and go into one direction. It's really great. This community exactly we have in our company. This is we, we are like a Skyward community and we have the smart word community this is platform which we talked which i talked today in our webinar and on the 25th of february we will launch this platform for uh the uh, english speaking society not english speaking society it will be for the four languages but it will be for different languages for the whole world, actually, and for English speaking society also. And you can visit this webinar, you can visit the platform, and you will understand actually deeply 
how the community will help you to grow in your business, how the social media will help you to grow in your business, how different people in different spheres who are really expert can, can show you and can help you to grow in your business. In this case, I really invite you with great pleasure and big excitement and with great honor to visit our webinar, the great webinar, the third webinar, third day webinar uh, of the Level Up Conference on the 25th of February. And I believe that you will get the answers on some, not maybe for all, but for some more questions you have right now. I can wait to get there. Thank you oh, great. You. Yes, in this case, see you in a few days because I also will be the speaker on that conference. Wow, that is lovely. See you there. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. With great pleasure, I will invite everyone and be happy to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Rina. And You're thank welcome. you so much for this see webinar. That. It was amazing. Hi, Ms. Yeah, Arena. I was... uh, my, could, could it be the last question, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, Ms. Arena. My name is William Hong. Um, I'm um, currently in the United States right now. Um, oh, I've been see. having a lot of trouble. I have. I've been having a lot of trouble of uh, listening with the internet going through back and forth. But uh, oh. my question, uh, maybe to myself and to oh, others, or do you recommend yeah, that we use a different um, Facebook page or to separate between the community or and personal page, that way we can build a community better. Or do you think we can just um, use the same page? Uh, what do you recommend? Oh, okay. Thank you for question. Uh, actually, it depends what goal you would like to have. Yeah. Uh, personal page and let's say community page, like business page. Uh, it's like uh, from the one point of view is the same, but from the NASA, it's a kind of different story. And it depends what you would like to do through your personal page and through your another page, and also what information you're ready to share, because usually our personal page is like, how to say, for our, as a whole version, yeah? We have uh, like our um, home style, I don't know, photos, yeah, house style, um text and so on and so forth and for example for a community or for business for another page we are so official we are so perfect and if you're ready to combine this if you're ready if you're ready to let's say show another part of yourself and to share some personal in this case it can be one page but if you would like to separate uh in this case it should be separate actually it based on your uh, let's say, uh, personal inner, um, how to say, um, vision on this situation. Okay, thank you so much. Because uh, to me, I feel right now, because um, um, majority I use my Facebook page is for like family, friends, and you know, this is like a pot of soup. You have everything, yeah. salt, pepper, you know, onion, everything. Right now, mm -hmm. I, want, I, I want to gather and, and one thing I learned about it, if you want your flower bed to be beautiful, you got to get rid of all the weed. So right now I try to uh, create something that way I can get the people that actually interest and move them to a part where they can understand, hey, you know, this is business now. It's something else. It's not something in here that, you know, it's, it's like very confusing. And my Facebook page, majority of myself, my family and everything, I, I usually don't post anything else beside that. So, you know, today I, I appreciate everything you share, um, you share to everybody. And I pick up a little bit here and there, like I, tr I was trying to explain that I got best in the net signal here. So we got cut out in and out all the time, but um, hopefully I can watch it again. And then, you know, um, so um, thank you so much for everything, Sharon. And I appreciate, you know, we have that, uh, this webinar and stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah, so thank you for your question and thank you for feedback. It's really a great pleasure to hear that this information is really helpful. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. I believe right now Kate would say that, come on guys, let's over. Mm. <laughs> yes, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that... because I can see that people are really interesting, but they slowly leaving and 
all the people that uh, couldn't attend oh, to our conference yeah. will see everything in the conference in the recording version. So mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> it was really interesting and useful and I'm looking forward to see you at uh, 25th of February. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you one wait. more time to everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. And Thank have you. a great day. Okay, Kate. Thank Hello. you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Bye, Prince. Good evening. Okay, All right. Thank you.